doctors and insurance companies, well, they're now trying to figure out what are essential medical services that must be provided that should be, and of course politicians are in on making those decisions. Well, let's discuss this. Joining the company is Andrew Rubin, Vice President at the NYU Langone Medical Center. Okay, Andrew, let me review, make sure I've got this right. They've got a committee meeting in Washington. All constituents in the medical business are there. They're deciding what, what, what must be provided, what must be covered by the health insurers of America in the future. Okay, I got this right? You got it right. I maintain that the politicians are in those committee meetings, and it is the politicians who will say, this is what you're going to have to cover. It's politicized. What do you say? I, I think politicians in the room will make it worse. I think it's an untenable situation, regardless of who's in the room, because every constituent group, even without the politicians, but certainly with the politicians in the room, are going to want something thrown in that, right. quite frankly, I I'm not sure we can afford. Right, because the, the, the guys who represent the marriage counselors, they will be in there saying, Health insurance, got to provide marriage counseling. It's good for your mental health. They'll all be in there. Absolutely. Demanding. And the insurance companies, are they're going to go along because the more that's in there, the more they can sell. Oh, so they've got a built-in thing. Oh, yes, yes, we must cover that. Absolutely. But, okay. But then what about you? You represent doctors and hospitals. Where do you stand in all of this? That's a, that's a great question, and I'm glad you asked me. I represent doctors and hospitals, but, you know, I... I understand the system as it works today and I, I, what's missing from this entire process health care re reform in general is a frank and honest conversation about what we can afford to to give and provide all of our citizens you know of course we all want to take care of everybody but the, the harsh reality is money there's a limited pool of money out there to pay for all this but you've got no say in this well we have a say at the table but i will tell you you know listen the more hospitals put in to this plan the more we stand to deliver to our patients and the more doctors can get in there the more doctors can deliver to their patients so we're all we all have a what? we all have crazy the incentives goes up. The you got, goes and that's up. the problem so, what would be the ideal panel because apparently this will be the template that it yeah. goes through this, this is it. You're right. absolutely right. So what's the ideal panel, the, the panel that's going to take into consideration realities of life, costs, etc.? You know what? There is no, there's no such panel, and that's the conundrum of health care. Really, it doesn't exist. What it's going to take is leadership, Republican or Democrat, making some really hard choices and saying, you You're know what? This is, we're not. That's not the pro and that's the problem. Yeah. But this is what we can afford, and this is what we can't afford. And let the chips fall where they may, because the trajectory we're on right now, we have a big cost problem, and, and we're hiding behind this, and it's going to get worse. These panels essentially will drive up costs. Sure. Not getting, down. They won't contain Well, think about it right now. The insurance markets offer what they offer. Now we're going to be offering everything to everybody. Well, how do you reduce costs in that scenario? You don't. Andrew Ruman. Thanks very much indeed. You represent the doctors and the hospitals in this. That's okay. correct. And costs are out of control, and out this control. panel isn't helping. Don't believe so. Thanks, Andrew. We appreciate it.